Hey Vox here. So I was recently watching my favorite Steelers YouTuber offseason productions and he went through and showed Kenny Pickett's throw motion this year. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to compare that to Madden's throw motion on Pickett because a lot of people hate the card, myself included. Not only do it a little bit longer of a throw release, but, but, and here's a big but, uh, the inaccuracies. Now the inaccuracies we know go away once you're using like War and Moon and higher accuracy quarterbacks, but I don't know why Madden launched this way. Um, they made guys basically unusable right away. So let's go ahead and uh, just look through. I'm going to try to use as little NFL footage as possible. Please don't strike me NFL. Um, and compare. So first we're going to go through, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a breakdown throughout this thing on throw motion and throw motion length and then compare it to the IRL clip. Like So right here's 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 the in-game one. Right? Kenny Pickett, of course, misses. Um, here's the in-game one. I threw it a couple times. I do this for every throw. I threw it a few times, and I give you the, I'll give you the numbers. And Because like here's the real-life throw around it. So... Similar guys coming from a different angle, but it's close enough and there's some pretty surprising things I've found in this Okay, so first of all first throw in game before we compare it to the IRL one um, It's like a deep in route right a deep in route about what 20 yards downfield around that depth now EA has very specific motions for specific players and they're different based off depth of target to the right to the left etc so that's well that's basically it depth of target to the right or left is how throw motions differ uh by throw motion all right so pick it if we go through and count frames and i gotta count for every single throw i show um basically what you see here is if, if you can look in close enough you can see him start his motion right from his hands right see how his body kind of shifts there he's doing a little jiggle there so that's like the first frame of the throw motion start right one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, and it's out of his hands, okay? About about 14th frame in or so, 13, 14. I have it marked down as 14 based off this and other, but a lot of my eagle-eyed viewers have probably noticed something, right? When the throw motion starts is not when you press the button, okay? So even though the throw motion starts here, right? The button press, as you see by the placement and accuracy I have on the field, it starts four frames earlier, right? Here's the frame where it pops up. This means I've pressed a button. Pops up, I've pressed a button. So this is one, two, three, four, and now, now you'll see the jiggle. Now you'll see the jiggle I talked about, okay? So his throw motion, 14 frames. His preload is four frames, okay? Now let's go to the film. I can show this again. Here, here's, a, here's another throw that ended up accurate. I'll show this same thing. Um, so, all right, so here we go. Well, there's the preload. He basically jiggled here. I'm not gonna, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm not gonna count the frames again. Basically, it is what it is. It's 14. I don't wanna take, I don't wanna waste you guys' time. All right, so here's Pickett, IRL, um, in, in the pocket, okay? So, let's watch him. This is gonna be a little harder because IRL is, isn't as precise as video games. It's not a definite thing, but Basically, right here is where I think he's starting his throw motion to throw that deep in, okay? Like, he separates his hands starting here, but I'm going to go back one more frame and start here. So, one frame, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And the ball is kind of out between 13 and 14, so we'll just say 14 again. Which is interesting because they're both 14. In-game, in IRL, 14 frames. Now, this is at 30 frames per second, not 60. The footage was 30, so captured in 30. So, it's 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 basically apples to apples, okay? So, you got to go back, right? Since it's 14 between when, I think, between when their, their, their motion starts and when it does. Is there any preload IRL? I don't think there is, right? He basically... He's moving forward. Obviously, quarterbacks have rhythms and stuff, right? But he's he, I think he's deciding to throw wait right when he starts his throw motion. I think that's like right up here. I think he's starting it. Starting, yeah. When he, when he basically his foot's down, he's like, all right, I'm gonna make this throw. So that's when this 14 start that we just counted. So, and I'll I'll give you guys a summary of this. Basically, why Kenny Pickett feels like he sucks is those fr four frames of preload animation that you don't actually see the separation. And that's why, you know, a lot of people don't like the length of his throw. Now, let's go for other throws in game, okay? Now, this throw is going to be down the middle deep, 
Okay? Down the middle deep. Hang on. All right, so we're going to start it right here. Down the middle deep. So down the middle deep, I'm not going to count them out again, but this is also 14, right? Down the middle deep for a seam shot, 14. Um, this is probably the, the worst job I did as far as matching up seam shot to uh, that, but even this far down, it's 14 frames. Like deep middle, deep middle, what is this, fifth, uh, 35, 40 yards? 20 yards, 40 yards, same throw distance. All right, so basically the same thing. 14, 3 to 4 load. All right, same same process. I'm not going to count. I'm not going to waste your time. Okay? Same one for the So the seam shot here, IRL. If we want to count these, I think he's trying I think he's throwing it right here. This is where I've marked that his front his he starts. This is his motion, start. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and it's gone. So basically, 13 IRL, 14 in-game, but in-game there's a preload of three based on when you press your button. So, uh, you know, you can obviously tell what my suggestion is going to be. Tighten the ship up, EA. Now, here's here's a deep left shot. Pick it through in the uh, uh, preseason game. Goes deep left. I'm trying to show as little NFL footage as possible um, so, I don't get, so I don't get caught. Um, these numbers... Uh, basically from like the 40 ish to the end zone or near the end zone in game. This is 17 frames, but the interesting thing is I don't see any preload on this one, right? I think he throws his motion. He starts his motion right when I press the button. You see how his motion on the quarterback, you get that jiggle right when the button's pressed. So this is how every throw I feel like should be It's where they matched up the jiggle to the button press. That should be the same frame, okay? And so it's out, and it's about 17 frames from um, uh, uh, from this distance, okay? From this distance, about 17 frames. Now, IRL, this same throw by Kenny Pickett. Let's let's go ahead and get to this. Look at This is from the right hash mark, too. IRL, I'm going to go ahead and give him, th like, a couple frames of preload because he has to set his feet, right? Setting a feet makes sense. So we're going to give him like, we'll say, well, I don't know. He's setting his feet right here as he's diving throw. So three frames of preload on the deep left. And then his throw motion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And it's gone. So in game, zero load, 17. I'll, I'll show this all summed at the end. In game, 17. Zero load. In IRL, 12, three load. So IRL's two frames faster. Even though he had to shift his feet. IRL to do it. All right, next throw. Deep right down the sidelines. This one's interesting. So I had two different deep rights. Here's one deep right. And I'll show you guys. I'll tell you guys the stats in a second. There's a second one, right? So it was like it was like one of the, the, the pre-movement footage lawn, right? That pre-movement. I stepped into it because I wanted to go right side of that that uh, frame thing, right side of the throw. And this one is a little different, not as much movement prior to the throw, okay? So let's watch the IRL one. Here's the IRL throw. All right, IRL out. Out, okay? So from about the 50 or 45 um down to like the goal line to the right in game it's 16 because because i showed you two different ways of doing this this one in game to the right with the preload before his animation starts it's like one one load and then the animation starts because i'm on the move throwing it all right and the other one because i'm not really on the move as much it starts a lot sooner right before his throw motion this one starts Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. He's gathered, and now the animation starts, where his, where his hands move down. See how his hands moving down? And that means it's about to go. All right? So that one's, um, I, I should probably show, probably show this, but uh, there's, there's basically those two clips, deep sideline right, in-game, 
you've seen I've seen a one for 16 frames in one load and another one 11 frames in six loads. So the same thing. 17 frames. 17 frames deep sideline right in IRL if you count these out, deep sideline right from here to here when the ball's out 11 and I counted two preloads. Right? I think he's going to I think he's thinking of throwing it like right here. And then he goes. So, uh, in game is four frames slower deep right, which you know four. It's like what four frames out of thirty, so ten to fifteen percent in there, twelve percent. I can't math. All right, and then on the move left, last one. Sorry, I've gotten a little a little long. On the move left, throw motion. Okay, there it is. On the move left, in game, 12 with 4 load. So you can see the loads start here. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then here's his motion starting here. I, I took his motion starting here. So it, it's all combined, really, one. But that's 12 with 4 load. IRL. IRL, here he is in preseason. You kind of see him. You see the guy Crosser getting there. And I really think... He decides to throw it here. I think this is where he starts his throw. He's like, all right, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. All right, now he's open. He's going to clear the, the clear the corner. One. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, blah, 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 blah. All the way to the to the guy in the corner. All right. So there's, there's his throw motion IRL. You know what's crazy? In game. That's 12 with four load in IRL. That's 12 with zero load. So here's 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 the rank, uh, here's the numbers. This is actually like feet. This is actually reverse. This is like what 40 or to the five or so goal line ish. 50 to the the five on the run cross body. So you're seeing in game the biggest difference. A lot of times these loading frames. Otherwise, EA's pretty close. If they just get rid of like the preload and they add the preload into the throw motion, EA's pretty close on a lot of this, right? Either 11, like this, this is like the 50 to the right gave me so crazy different, depending on if you're moving pre, pre to the throw or not. 16 with one load or 11 with six load versus 11 with two load IRL. So, you know, it's so crazy. Like, right? This one deep left was zero load with 17 frames. The, the the throw motion started exactly when I pressed the button. So EA can easily do it, right? I'm literally improving right here. EA needs to up these throw motions to match their in real life carnal part. They need to get sped up. And obviously with Gunslinger, this is solved a little bit. Some throw motions are a lot faster. But this is the big thing about throw motions in-game versus IRL. The preload. Otherwise, they're pretty close. All right, that's it. Bye.